Hey everyone, today we're taking a look at Roger That by Fairfield Circuitry. It is easily the craziest pedal I've messed with in a long time and I absolutely love it. But some quick housekeeping notes on the way that this demo is going to go before we jump in. Because Roger That is capable of producing sound like from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. I'm gonna do a couple of things to protect your ears. Number one, I'm gonna compress and limit it to negative six decibels. It has some really cool and interesting volume spikes that are fun to play with, but I want you to be able to watch this uh, on the internet at a safe volume and not have to keep fiddling with the volume control on your computer. So I'm just gonna kind of squash it down. And I felt like that was worth mentioning for the audio files out there. And if that upsets you, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to keep you safe. But okay, so what is Roger? That Fairfield describes this pedal as a modulator demodulator that is designed to kind of mimic the feeling of scanning through an FM radio and getting, you know, between the stations. Decoherence at its finest, says Fairfield, and we will see about that. And beyond the whole FM radio thing, it's an incredible sound degradation, distortion, and artifacting box that will happily mangle just about anything. It is full of the most wonderful audio nonsense. Now, whereas most demos start with an explanation, this pedal instead invites exploration. I don't actually know what's going on inside of the box, so let's just jump in together and turn some knobs and flip some switches and talk about what's going on with each one as we go. The tune knob is like turning the dial on your radio receiver, and it'll sweep through a wide variety of sounds from subtle artifacts to extreme textures, noise, and distortion. Shift is difficult to describe, and it's kind of a control that I've developed a feel for as I've messed with this pedal over the last month or so. Fairfield says that it shifts the accuracy of tracking the incoming modulated signal, sometimes it acts as a filter, and it's highly dependent on tune. So let's just twist it and see what happens. R, I think, stands for range because flipping this switch will like adjust the scale available to the tune knob, with one being normal and two being extended. There's a drive knob here that controls the input level from clean to dirty, and if you push the drive control, it's gonna generate extreme non-linearities from the modulator-demodulator circuit. And it's worth noting that the drive knob affects both the wet and dry signals. The F stands for filter. You can apply a 300 hertz to three kilohertz filter to the wet signal. Zero is off, one is on. Wet and dry controls, and it seems to me that all the way clockwise is unity on both. And we have a single CV jack here um, marked T which accepts control voltage and sums it with the position of the tune knob, and we'll take a look at that here in a little bit. Roger that is highly interactive. The thing you're sending in matters. The position of all of the knobs and switches matters. And so I think our best move here is to just grab a variety of instruments from my collection here and start running stuff through the pedal, see what it sounds like. The informational portion of this video is over, so if you skip around, you won't miss any new info. You know, if you get bored with the sound, skip to the next one, no big deal. If it becomes too much, hey, take a break, grab a cup of tea. 
Here I've got a guitar loop pitched down and playing in reverse on blooper. Some of my favorite subtle sounds on Roger That add little discontinuities without a ton of distortion. Worth noting that I'm running dry at 100% and wet at about 50%. If the heat is a little too much, this is the way to dial it back. So as we heard here, Roger That can take a clean guitar signal to a very chaotic place. But what would happen if our guitar was already pretty wrecked going in? Let's run it through this dude incredible and find out.
Forgive me, but I had to find out what would happen with Roger that in a feedback loop. Watch your ears on this one. There's some really incredible sweet spots in here, so stick around. Okay, so let's talk about control voltage. The voltage present at the T-Jack is summed with the tune knob. And I'm just feeding a basic sine wave into the pedal here. Let's try a bunch of different modulation sources, some unipolar, some bipolar, some slow, some audio rate. And you can watch the scope to see what I'm sending into the T-Jack.
right, so finally one more modular jam. And I started down this road with the intention of using the weird and unique noise profile of Roger that to make some hi-hats. But I kind of accidentally stumbled into melodic territory instead. So I'll leave you with some pleasant and musical sounds. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.